minutes in. Hell yeah. <laughs> that was such a pain in the ass. All right, so something happened. That doesn't look right. So when I was trying to put in the, um, the half shaft through the hub here, the other, the other one went perfectly fine. This one would not go in. I tried to uh, persuade it to go into the hub and it just pushed the hub right out with the race. So, at this point, what I'm gonna do is assemble everything else, get everything else going, put <laughs> one wheel on and one side fully assembled until I get the bearing. I'm gonna try to next day it because I really wanna get this done. So also I can finish this video too for you guys out there watching. Um, but hopefully um, that comes in in time and we get no more hiccups with the half shafts or anything like that. So let's finish this up for the day. Well, let me show you what I'm gonna do for the rest of my day and we'll continue the video. All right, with the snap ring out, now I can actually start pulling the bearing out of the, the hub housing. I'm sorry, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure what it's called, but you can pull the bearing out of the, um, the arm, the trailing arm. So to do that, my preferred method throughout the years of doing these is using a slide hammer and the correct size um, cup, I guess you can call it. And I've tried multiple different ways and for this application because it is a fairly new it's a brand new bearing actually and I know that there's no corrosion on it it's gonna be pretty easy to pull out this way so let me show you what I got Harbor Freight specials not too expensive uh, well worth the investment if you're gonna be doing this more often in my case I have one two three cars that share the same system so we use the puller, right? Puller. And we're gonna use the nut that comes with it. I mean, I'm sure you can use any other nut that's this size. I mean, you can see that the threads on it is pretty beat up. I've used it so many times. I've gotten my money's worth though. And the correct size cup. You want it to make the most contact on the bearing you don't want it to be too small or too big because you can't pull it obviously but it has to be just right or else you can damage or even leave the race in in the arm and you don't want that up at the end put the nut on it plenty of threads and that bearing will come out always use anti-seize I mean I don't know what other people are saying is right or wrong but I put anti-seize on the shell of the bearing because I don't want it to seize up
be super careful because if it goes in crooked like it almost did right now on me you can ruin the bearing so you gotta just hammer it straight in I mean if you have a press that can do something like this more precisely do it I've always done it like this and had great success so do what you're most comfortable with Today is the day I get to drive the E30. It may not be for very far or for very long, that's for sure, but our five lug rear swap is complete. At this point, let's put the wheels on, let's clear everything out from under it, and let's get it moving. I'm so excited. stuff that stuff is all new in the rear so plans for this is to actually go coilovers on the whole car and of course we will do a video of that god sorry low speed turns are super heavy oh my god I'm so happy right now this is so awesome I didn't think I'd actually be driving this thing around like now? Oh my god, I left a wrench on the side of the... Oh, I hope it's not a 10. If it's a 10, I'm screwed. It's like my last 10. <laughs> this is so sick though. It's doing so well. I wonder if the fan is kicked in yet. I guess we'll find out if it blows up or not. Oh my gosh. Uh-oh. Now it's idling weird. All right guys, it's the next day and I'm still stoked. I'm still stoked that we got the five look swap in the rear done. Uh, for the most part, there are still sensors that need to be spliced or wired up. I'm not sure I have to read into it a little more because it is a 318 Ti rear end and I believe they use slightly different ABS sensors but I could be wrong, I think it's just a plug and play type of thing. We will still have to do that. There's still more work to do for that to be absolutely complete. But as far as it being installed, brakes work, parking brake works, everything seems to be perfectly fine now, which is awesome. I'm so happy about that part that that just makes it all worth it to be able to drive this thing down the street and it went off without a hitch. I mean, there's a, <laughs> obviously a lot of stuff still missing, but we're going to get to all that. I'm going to 
make sure to bring you guys along for that whole journey because this is going to be a whole year or two more of just constantly working on this thing bringing it back to life paint full interior restoration you name it it's going to be perfect for me in the end i mean if you guys wish to see something else done with this car let us know down in the comment section below but for today this is going to be it Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and have a great day. Thank you.